Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be showing you how to make this chocolate chip cookie amigurumi. For this project, you will need the following tools and materials. You can find the full written pattern on my website, helloyellowyarn.com. Let's begin. For round one, work six single crochet in the magic ring. For round two, work a single crochet increase in each stitch around. This should give us a total of 12 stitches. For round three, work one single crochet in the next stitch, followed by a single crochet increase in the next. Repeat that sequence six times. At the end of the round, there should be a total of 18 stitches. Continue working that pattern and I will meet you in the next round. For round 4, work a single crochet increase in the next stitch, followed by a single crochet in the next 2 stitches. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round. I'm going to continue working this pattern and we'll meet in the next round. For round 5, work a single crochet in the next 3 stitches, followed by a single crochet increase in the next. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 30 stitches at the end of the round. Keep working that pattern and we'll meet in the next round. For round 6, work a single crochet increase in the next stitch, followed by a single crochet in the next 4 stitches. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 36 stitches at the end of the round. So continue working that pattern and we'll meet in the next round. For round 7, 
work a single crochet in the next five stitches followed by a single crochet increase in the next. Repeat that sequence six times for a total of 42 stitches at the end of the round. I'm going to finish off this round and we'll meet at round 8. For round 8, work a single crochet increase in the next stitch, followed by a single crochet in the next 6 stitches. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 48 stitches at the end of the round. So continue working that pattern and we'll meet in the next round. For rounds 9 to 11, which is the next 3 rounds, you'll just need to work one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. Each round should still have a total of 48 stitches. Continue working on those rounds and we'll meet in the next step. At the end of round 11, our work should look a little bit like this and now we can attach the safety eyes. I've placed the eyes in between rounds 5 and 6 in each side, just below the center of the piece. From round 12 onwards, we're going to start decreasing our work. So for round 12, work a single crochet decrease and then a single crochet in the next 6 stitches. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 42 stitches at the end of the round. So continue working that pattern and we'll meet in the next round. For round 13, work a single crochet in the next 5 stitches, followed by a single crochet decrease. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 36 stitches at the end of the round. I'm going to continue working on this and we'll meet in the next round. For round 14, work a single crochet decrease followed by a single crochet in the next 4 stitches. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 30 stitches at the end of the round. I'm going to continue with this and we'll meet in the next round. 
For round 15, work a single crochet in the next 3 stitches, followed by a single crochet decrease in the next. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 24 stitches at the end of the round. Continue working that pattern and we'll meet in the next step. Before we work into the next round, let's go ahead and add some stuffing into our cookie. And remember not to overstuff. Continuing on, for round 16, work a single crochet decrease in the next, followed by a single crochet in the next 2 stitches. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 18 stitches at the end of the round. So keep working that pattern and we'll meet in the next round. For round 17, we'll work a single crochet in the next, followed by a single crochet decrease in the next. Repeat that sequence 6 times for a total of 12 stitches at the end of the round. Continue working that pattern and we'll meet in the next round, which is the last round. At this point, before we continue, if needed, you might want to add a little bit more stuffing just before we start closing the piece. Squish the cookie just to flatten it a little bit and remember not to overstuff it. For round 18, which is the last round, we're going to decrease 6 times, which will leave us with 6 stitches at the end of this round. We can fasten off at the end of this round, just remember to leave a little bit of a tail so we can use that to close off the remaining stitches. Now we can close. So weave the yarn tail through the remaining front loop stitches, then gently pull the yarn tail.
If you find that the last bit of stitches are sticking out a little bit, all you need to do is insert the needle into the nearest stitch gap, then um, insert it through the piece all the way through, and then reinsert the needle back into the piece, the same spot where the needle came out of. And then bring out the needle through the very center. And then you're going to reinsert the needle onto another stitch gap. So just pull it gently and then reinsert the needle into another stitch gap and pull it all the way through the piece and gently pull the yarn tail. I tugged on this yarn tail a little bit too hard and I dimpled the piece just a little bit. And then just weave the yarn tail through the piece several times to hide it. Now let's make the little cookie arms. This one's just one round and all you need to do is work two single crochets, three double crochets and two single crochets in a magic ring. Fasten off at the end of the round. You can make a little knot or you can just pull the yarn straight through. Now we can sew the little details on the cookie. With brown yarn, let's sew the nose. Make about five horizontal stitches across three stitch gaps between the two eyes. I'm going to continue sewing the nose, then I'll show you how I hide the yarn tails. With the yarn tails, I usually weave the tails through the piece several times, then I make the two ends meet in one stitch gap. I then secure it with a tight double knot. Then I insert the tails back into the same stitch gap through the piece and then I trim the excess yarn. For the blush, use pink yarn 
and sew two horizontal stitches below each eye. Continue sewing the blush and don't forget to hide the yarn tails. We are almost at the finish line and now let's sew the chalk chips. Use dark brown yarn and for this just sew a couple of stitch lines in any place you like on the cookie. The only place I didn't sew was at the back of the cookie. Go ahead and continue sewing those chips. Don't forget to hide the yarn tails and we'll meet at the final step. And finally, we can sew the arms to either side of the cookie. For placement, I align the arms with the cookie's eyes. And you just need to sew down the first and last stitch of the arm to the cookie. Continue sewing both arms to the cookie and don't forget to hide the yarn tails. And our chocolate chip cookie amigurumi is done. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Until next time, bye!